Great congratulations to Amy Coney Barrett uh, on being confirmed to be the newest member of the United States Supreme Court. Anybody who watched the hearings has seen that she is extremely well qualified, so capable by character, credibility, and most importantly, commitment to the Constitution. She understands that the role of a justice is to apply the law, not legislate from the bench. So it is a historic day for this institution as well as for the Supreme Court. From the standpoint of this institution, we have now the Republican Senate in the last four years confirmed three conservative justices to the Supreme Court. Three in the last four years. It wasn't until the, since the time of Dwight David Eisenhower, when he was president, that any president confirmed more. And he was president for eight years. Special thanks to the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, previous and now, Senator Grassley and Senator Graham for their leadership. And special thanks to President Trump for nominating this nominee, this new justice, but three remarkable judges to the Supreme Court. What an extraordinary night, everyone. We have just witnessed the confirmation of Judge Amy Coney Barrett to become our newest Associate Justice on the United States Supreme Court. And I am so proud to have been a member of the Judiciary Committee witnessing Judge Barrett as she went through the confirmation hearings, answering very difficult questions coming from both the left and the right. And the, the fact that we have seen her as such a brilliant legal scholar, as an extraordinary jurist, someone who has been commended by folks both on the left and the right, as she moved through this process, not a single note in front of her. And I am so very proud of her, the way she held herself during this difficult last two weeks, her incredible demeanor, um, her, her temperance, uh, just extraordinary. And we have witnessed now the fact that a conservative woman can move ahead, not be marginalized by the people on the left, and the fact that we can now push back and say, you know, women can choose to marry who they want to marry. They can choose whatever career path they want to engage in. They can be the mother of seven beautiful children. They can be a woman of faith. They do not have to march in lockstep with what the Democrats think of as an ideal woman. And I am so very proud of now Justice Amy Coney Barrett. And folks, this is exactly what I would want to encourage our young women to do across the United States of America. Because folks, this is exactly what a mom can do. Thank you. Well, it was exciting today. It's the first time I've gotten to vote for a Supreme Court uh, justice as a U.S. Senator. One of the things I ran on uh, when I ran two years ago was the opportunity to vote for judges that believed in the Constitution, believed in interpreting the law rather than making the law. I, as governor of Florida, I got to appoint 407 judges, and I really only asked them one question. Do you understand you're not part of the executive of the legislative branch? And Amy Coney Barrett clearly understands that. That's what she said when I sat down with her. So this is a historic day for me. I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to have been able to vote for somebody as wonderful as uh, Amy Coney Barrett. And I know she, for the next decade, she's going to be a wonderful uh, member of the Supreme Court and do a uh, uh, great job. As you can see, our numbers are growing for this press conference because people want to have a good word to say about Justice Barrett and about the process that we have carried forward. It's been such an honor to be a part of the Judiciary Committee and to work through this process with Chairman Graham, who has been so capable as we have gone through the review process and holding the hearing. We appreciate that leadership that was brought 
to this um, entire process. I also want to say to Tennesseans how much I appreciate hearing from them and how they have weighed in on this issue. How I have heard from Tennesseans who said, you know, I've changed my mind about who I'm going to vote for in the presidential race because of the quality of judges. We now have hit 220 judges and because of the caliber of your Supreme Court Justice nominee. Joni mentioned just a touch about how this shows that there is a place, a seat at the table for women that come from the political center and center right. And while our Democratic colleagues chose to be disrespectful of the process, of the committee, of the institution, and also of Judge Barrett. We know that part of their frustration was born out of the fact that Justice Barrett would not submit, she would not submit to the women's agenda that the leftists think that a woman has to submit to in order to be recognized as accomplished as fully female. And she did stand strong and tall through this process and indeed has broken a barrier and will open the door for other women to realize there is a seat at the table for them.